and that YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers, my old subscribers, the new ones. Thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate you guys. I appreciate the like of my video, the shares. I appreciate the thumbs up that you give to me. So I appreciate it, guys, so much. I really do appreciate it. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to cut a, a trendy sleeve. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be teaching you how to cut today on Stylish Niger YouTube channel enough of all these um boring sleeves and just sticking to the conventional sleeve so that's why i decided to just make this uh sleeve just for like a switch this sleeve you can actually make it with an ankara you can actually make it with chiffon you can actually make it with whatever fabric you choose to but you can just give it a try on your dresses on your your skirt and blouse or whatever you can just give it a try so that's why i decided to make this uh video just for a change yeah so if you find this video helpful please do not hesitate to hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed subscribe to my channel and uh, hit on the notification bell beside the subscribe button to get updates whenever I upload a new video. It actually doesn't even actually take you anything to just hit on the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I will really appreciate if you would do that if you are new to my channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to cut a trendy sleeve, like I said before. So I'm going to be making use of my basic and sleeve pattern. So you can see from the picture that I have up here, the sleeve is actually a long sleeve. Yeah, so but I'm going to be making use of this pattern. So I will be elongating it. So you see that as I go along and then the sleeve, I'm going to be putting a band on the, the, the wrist of the sleeve. So I have already have a cut out a band here just to save time. So what I actually have here is seven inches when it's open then unfold it's actually three and a half so i'm going to be making use of three inches and then the half inches that's what i'm going to be using to attach to the tip of my sleeve so for the sleeve the entire length of the sleeve is actually 24 inches and then like i said my band is three inches so what i'm going to be cutting out i'm going to be cutting out um 21 inch so i'll just take my 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 chalk like this and then mark out 21 inch so this is actually where i'm gonna be stopping for this sleeve you can see it's like a, a little puff on top of the sleeve so what i'm gonna be doing now i'm gonna be extending the calf of those uh of this sleeve so i'm gonna be extending it so i'm just gonna be doing this like this now and then take this just to get that curve so just do this so that's just basically what i'm gonna be doing to get the sleeve so you can see what I have here so you can always measure for your your, your round armhole like I always say you just it's always good to measure to make sure you know what you want well sorry to make sure you know you know um, the actual measurements all right so you don't run into problems so i already have the top part so i'm just going to be measuring my 21 inches so i have my 21 inches right here so then the the, the round part of my sleeve so i'm just since this is a long sleeve i'll just give you the processes of of taking the measurement for the for the wrist part so you always measure and make sure it comes out from your wrist if it doesn't come out from your wrist, unless you're going to be adding a button to your band. But if you're not going to be adding a button, you make sure you measure, let it come out from your wrist. So that will determine the measurement of what you need. Then for the top part, for the top part, for the bicep part, always measure. If you want it to be fitted, you measure the bicep area of your sleeve. And then you measure your elbow area also. So you measure for you to know. So it actually helps. And then the easy way for you to know where these points are is for you to take your tape like this. And then you know that my bicep is 8 and then my elbow is 13. So you take it like this and then you measure. This is my bicep which is 8 inches and then this is my elbow line which is 13 inches. So then you now insert your measurement. With this, your sleeve is going to be perfect. It's not going to be tight and it's just going to be perfect. So for this, I'll just start from the down part. So I'm going to be using 5 inches, allowance included. It's actually 8 inches. What I actually have here for my own wrist is actually 8 inches. So I'll add that 2 inches allowance. So that is why I'm doing 5. When you divide 
10 into 2 you have 5 inches then for the elbow part for the elbow part i have 11 inches so that's a five and a half so i'll make it six because of the seam and then for the for the for the biceps area like i told you initially you just measure i have 12 inches so i have six here so you do it like that and then you add one inch allowance so you just take it like this and then i'm just going to use my my ruler and connect my line so that's how you turn your your pattern into a long sleeve so i'll just cut it out now So the next thing I have now, you can see this is my long sleeve. So I have it right here. So the next thing I'm gonna, the next thing I did for this, I told you about the the band that is going to be here at the end of the sleeve. So that's what is gonna be there. Okay. So the, the for you to get the band, you you measure your the, that's your your wrist. Yeah, you measure your wrist and then add a little bit of allowance so what i had here was five inches so i'll just make it, i'll make my band six inches that's the width so I'll just place it like this just to get out the measurement and then just cut it out like this so i have my band ready so i'll just set it aside then the next thing that i did i cut out straps uh you this for this you can actually for the ruffles you can decide to use any fabric you can set to use a raw stick, you can set to use a door face satin, but what I have here is actually taffeta, so that's what I'm going to be making use of to, to, to form my ruffles. Cut out uh, straps of uh, uh, my, uh, fabric, I'm using uh, a taffeta, you can set to use door face, you can set to use raw stick, whatever uh, fabric you choose to use, but me, I'm making use of a taffeta, and I cut out 5 inches for this, so I'm folded into 2 to just iron to get um, a clean edge on this side so you fold it into two the five inches fold it into two and then you iron just for my ruffle so i have a two and a half so the half inch will be for for me to stitch so the next thing i did was i ran a stitch you can see i ran a stitch along this line so i ran a stitch along this line so you can see it a clean stitch with the 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 loose parts of your machine so you just run a stitch and so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be drawing gathers on it you can decide to use pleat if you want to so what i mean is if you're going to be using pleat you can decide to just pleat pleats like this and place on top of your machine pleat 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 and then you run a stitch along you can decide to do that so but for this i didn't use pleat so i did gathers so i'll just pull them like this i'll pull them i make long straps so at the end of the day i came up with this so i'm just gonna set this aside and then work with this so i came up with uh, my strap so the next thing i'm gonna be doing now i'll open up my you can see my my sleeve is ironed for me to get the center part that's the mid point of the sleeve so i open it up like this so this is the mid point of my sleeve for this mid point so what i did for this sleeve you just come to this side for the right side of the sleeve that's for the for, for the front part of the sleeve so you come like this and then from the midpoint i measure two inches so this is where i'm actually going to be starting my to pleat my ruffles from so this is where i'm going to be starting from two inch from the center two inch and then to the midpoint so i'm gonna i'm going to be coming to to 12 inches so this is the midpoint of my sleeve, 12 inches. So this is where I'm like going to be making all of my my ruffles to sit here. So, so the, the next thing I will do now from the two inch from the midpoint that I told you. So I'm just going to use um since I'm coming to this midpoint, so I'll just I'm just going to rule it like this. I'm just making a mark for me to know where and how I'm going to be attaching my ruffles. So for this part, for this point, you can decide to do do it however you choose to so for the for the ruffle part for me to know the points i'm going to be using one inch mark i'm just going to be using one inch so this for this midpoint i'll mark the midpoint of where my ruffle is 
it's going to be that that's where i'm going to be stopping it so from this point now i'll just measure one inch because i actually want it to be close i'll measure one inch so this is like this is one inch so this is the center so this is my first circle so from this uh, first circle i'll measure another one inch again So I'll measure another one inch again. So from this point again, I'll measure another one inch. So that will be the third one. So it depends on how much layer you want on it. You're just going to use one one inch interval to to separate your ruffles. So you are just going to like a spiral, putting it round, 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 using one inch um, line to like separate it. So that's just what basically I'm going to be doing now. So the next thing now, I'll start attaching. Since I already have it laid out here, I'll start attaching. Uh, I'll start attaching. So in order to attach it, you can see from the picture, you can see the this first one is actually standing. So you can see the edges of this. I I locked it. You can decide to to sew, turn, and iron depends on what you want. But this, I just made sure I locked the 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 the, the tips. Of this so i'm just going to place it like this now and then follow this point like this so i'll take it to my machine now and then attach it for you to see so guys you can see the sleeve is looking so beautiful sorry guys i actually forgot to tell you initially i actually used a tool a tool that's for the background of my sleeve i used a tool so you can decide to make use of an ankara like i said you can make use of any fabric of your choice but i used a tool for this so I just trim out the excess So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, you just fold it and then you take your actual measurement. So I'm just going to do that. Like the, the measurement I told you initial, initially, the, the wrist, the elbow parts, and then the bicep part. And then you just run a stitch along. So I'll do that and come back and show you the finished um, sleeve. Hey guys, you can see I finished making my sleeve. It looks so beautiful you can see you can testify to that you can see it looks so pretty 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 so 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 give me the try yeah give me the try you can see how beautiful it is looking you can use this and uh, you can actually use this on an ankara you can use it on a kaftan you can use it in whatever just change your style change the style up a bit so if you actually find this um video helpful please do not hesitate i just have to use pencil to connect it to my sleeve so if you actually find this video helpful please do not hesitate to like this video yeah i like this video to make me know you actually appreciate what i did with this video so you can see it looks so pretty i love it came out so thank you so much guys thank you for watching see you in my next video bye